What's going on, people? It's your boy Rob here, and um, got a 2005 Dodge Durango. And, uh, when I got it, it didn't have no sound. So uh, what I did was I found the factory app because a couple people told me that that's what happened. Usually, it's usually the factory app. So uh, here it is, right here. This is the factory app that I pulled up out of here. And uh, as you see, I took it apart, opened it up. But um, I got rid of that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bypass that. And that was located here. So I found that. I got that up out of there. Now, these are wire harnesses here for the radio. Now, you got your sound. You got your power. So this is the old radio. And uh, this is what I'm taking up out of there. As you see, I already started dismantling it. So I'm going to go ahead and take that apart and get this new radio set up in here so y'all can see uh, what's going on. All right, what you want to do is you want to take this cover off. Uh, you see, I got the cover off there. Now, I done got the way you are loose. So take that out. Now that that radio is out of there, I can go ahead and start installing a new radio. As you see, I done already started wiring it up. Now, I know normally what you would do is get a wire harness, but as you see, I got a wire harness already, and it didn't make no difference because they don't match up. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to uh, go ahead and uh, move these out the way and um, splice them to the wires. As you see, I've already started doing here. I'm going to tape them off and color code them later, but... You get the picture. Now, on a Dodge, you got two power wires. These two gray and red, these are the hops. Then, you got the ground. So, as you see, I done already taped them off. And uh, on here, the wire harness, they're coordinated. Got my red, yellow, ground. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, now we gotta get some sound. I got the power hooked up. All right, as y'all see, we got power. Got the radio wired up, got power. Now, the next thing to do is get some sound going in this mud, man. So now we going back to the factory amp wire harness and get ready to bypass that now again you're gonna hook your radio up normally as you would any other aftermarket radio but the difficulty is finding your power and ground so different vehicles and models and makes come with different wire harnesses this dodge specifically i found mines which were the two grays with the red dark red stripe and of course the thick dark black ground wire now my wire harness is hooked up i got that hooked up but it's see it's not sitting all the way in a little lengthy wire so i got some room to work with now but again on to the sound i'm gonna go ahead and pull this glove box up out of here too so i can run my wires through here all right so we back over here to this wire harness again this is the factory amp that i took up out of here took that moved to the side these are my wires. Had to go through these wires to find out which ones they're hot and which ones the speaker wires. Now on this model, the two yellow and reds, those are the hots. This is black ground. So disconnecting my hots, going to that. So uh, that plug is no longer getting any juice. Now that that's out the way, I can start running my speaker wires. Again, don't know what some of these wires is for, but what I'll do is reconnect them later and uh, tape those up or, you know, clip them up, put them out the way. Make sure they don't touch nothing. This harness here, I got two greens. Green and a yellow, green and a dark green. Two grays and a green and a yellow. So, 
clip these first two, start singling them out one by one. And let's see what we get. Alright, as y'all can see, got the two greens hooked up. And as you can hear, I got sound. So, we know that's a speaker wire. So, again, I got my wire harness for the amplifier out the way. Disconnected the power. Started with the speaker wires. And now I got sound. So let's hook the rest of them up. And uh, let's get some more sounds going. So, again, wire harness, ran my wires to the amplifier wire harness. Again, power wires, don't know what most of these is for. So I'm just gonna reconnect them, put this out the way. Here, I know it looks like a mess, but got all my speaker wires ran. And as you can hear, I got sound all over now. I got each speaker working. Like I said, I got the aftermarket radio in, got it wired up, ran my speaker wires. This is the old radio, got that up out of there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rewire this and uh, rerun these wires and get these wires out the way so I can sit it up in there right. As you see right now. I just got it sitting in here. So, I'm about to clean this up, get these wires ran, get them out the way, get that all taped off, and uh, put this in there, and I'll be right back. All right, as y'all can see, I got it all wired up. It's getting kind of dark out here. There we go, a little bit of light. Got it all wired up, got my wires ran, got them all tucked up out the way. So I'm gonna move those, roll those up, tape them up, put them behind. And um, over here, got my radio, got the wire harness, got all that. So I'm gonna sit this back up in here and uh, put everything back in place. And then that'll be it. Put my glove box back, tuck all my wires, you know, lock all this stuff in, and I'll be done. So, there you have it. That's how you bypass the factory amp on a 2005 Dodge Durango.
Since I couldn't find the video, here it is.